part of the show where I get to share a cool story from social media. This is what I'm liking. So it all started with a tweet almost four years ago. Playwright and author Ladarian Williams asked, what if Harry Potter went to a magical HBCU in the South? The result is Blood at the Root, the first in a planned trilogy of YA books. We have Ladarian on the line watching right now on NBC Los Angeles. What's up, Ladarian? Hi, what's up, Kelly? Hi! So, a fantasy novel, so this is based on the, where you grew up, right? Yeah, so I grew up around Helena, Alabama, which is like 25 minutes outside of Birmingham. Um, so, you know, I grew up like in this very small town, one stoplight type of thing. We used to have like one Publix, I think, and then that was grown. So that's where I grew up and that's where I set the book um, in my hometown. I love it. You have the best smile, by the way. <laughs> I mean, you're making Appreciate me it. smile. It feels really infectious <laughs> and nice. Um, well, so you grew up reading fantasy novels, right? Yeah, you know, I grew up um, reading, like, the Percy Jackson series. Me and, too. Um, you know, like, the Hunger Games and Twilight. So I just really wanted to, you know, be insert myself into that story, but I didn't really see that, you know, myself. And I didn't see my friends and, like, my family. So that's why I wrote Blood at the Root. And it's about a black kid from my hometown who gets accepted into a magical HBCU, and he must go there to learn about his ancestral magic, all the while uncovering some dark secrets surrounding his mother's mysterious disappearance. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, Lovecraft Country, Beyonce's Black is King, like grownish, but like just add magic. So it's kind of like all of it. I love it. it. It's yeah. totally up my alley. I love escape as a man. It's like, I love like fantasy, like fiction. It's so fun. It's such a fun genre. And the ancestral magic thing, I mean, I'm totally in. Uh, congratulations. This is incredible. To, this you. is a trilogy, right? A part of a trilogy? A tr a trilogy, yeah. yeah. You know, it started off as a little short film that could. Me and my friends started, you know, we went around L.A. and shot the short film, and then, you know, Hollywood kept saying no, so I pivoted and wrote it as a book, and now we're here, you know? It, you know, the book is out. Yes. I can't wait yeah. to see it also on film. It's going to be cool. Thank you so much, Ladarian. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Kelly. And also, yeah. you know, your songs are on my playlist. I listen to, you know, Move You and Heat and all oh, of that just to you. get myself in the scene and just write. And, you know, so just... You just said that. Move so You. you That's music. an actual fan. Thank you. That's awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, I'm liking your post right now. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, Makers of Friction, the go-to erasable pin of The Kelly Clarkson Show, want to celebrate those creating fearlessly just like you, sir. So they're going to write you a check for $1,000 to your hometown library in Alabama. Nice. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ladarian. Good luck. And thank you to all our guests this hour, Harry Connick Jr., Gracie Abrams, Lauren Farian, Lee Kiefer, and Gareth Meinhardt. Remember, you can cheer on Team USA at the Summer Olympics in Paris in just three days, y'all. Have a great day, and if it's not, change your